What's up everyone, this is All I Talk is Tech, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you so many cool features that Backtap has to offer that no other YouTuber is really talking about. So Backtap is filled with so many awesome new features and changes that I really think you guys would definitely be able to take advantage of, and unfortunately, not everyone knows all the awesome features it has to offer. So first off, I'm going to explain what Backtap is for the people who don't really know. This will only take like 20 seconds. Long story short, Apple now added something in iOS 14 where you double tap the back of your iPhone and it can activate control center or can activate whatever you want. And Apple has a list of options that your iPhone can execute whenever you double tap the back of your iPhone. And there's also an option to triple tap the back of your iPhone to execute more commands for your iPhone. So go to settings, general, my bad, go to settings, and you want to go to your accessibilities, right? Scroll down, and then you will see touch. Scroll down again, tap on back tap, and here you go, right? So you'll see back tap lets you double tap, and you can do toggle number one. And if you triple tap, you can do the second toggle. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you Apple's normal toggles. I'm going to be showing you how you can get your own toggles that are super duper cool. And on top of that, I'm going to be showing you how you can get two more toggles, right? So for example, back tap, if I double tap, it's only going to activate control center. But what if you want to double tap and have something turn on and then double tap to have that thing turn off? So that's two toggles right there. And then if you triple tap, you can do the same thing on and then off. So that's technically a total of four toggles for just two functions. So I will get into this. This is super duper cool and you guys are going to be pro users by the time I'm done with this video. This shouldn't be a long video. So first off, you got all of Apple's cool features right here. So before we get into the custom back tap features, I want to show you my favorite ones that Apple has made. And this is the scroll down and then the scroll up function. The reason why I love this is because if you are inside TikTok, that means you can double tap the back of your phone and it will scroll up or it will scroll down for you. So my for you page is a little different, but you can see that when I double tap, it scrolls. So this is pretty cool. So anyways, um, ignore my for you page. Um, I will not be answering any questions in the comment about that. But um, basically, <laughs> um, for shortcuts, what you can do, this is what's really cool. This is my favorite one. I will be linking a bunch of shortcuts down below in the description. All of these I will link and I will explain all of them in this video. So if you double tap your iPhone, right, or triple tap, right, I'm going to set it as double tap. What will happen is your iPhone will be able to toggle dark mode. So you'll be able to turn dark mode on by double tapping. And if you want to turn dark mode off, just double tap again. And you can see with double tapping, you now get two functions instead of one. And I have it set so that way also whenever I triple tap, I toggle the flashlight. So triple tap, and then my flashlight turns on, and then I triple tap, flashlight's off. So that's pretty cool. So that is four functions out of two toggles, which is why I love using the shortcuts. So I actually made a bunch of custom shortcuts. And what's really cool is whenever you make a shortcut, you can make it so your iPhone can vibrate. So I have it so whenever I double tap, whenever anything runs, my phone vibrates so I know that this is actually working. So this is super duper cool. And on top of that, I even have a low power mode. There is the ability to go ahead and turn on airplane mode when you double tap or triple tap. I have one so that way you can go ahead and like I said, low power mode. You can also have one that will open an app when you double tap. You can also have one open a separate app when you triple tap. So you'll want two separate open app shortcuts for that. What's really cool is you can do Shazam. So you can double tap the back of your phone and it will instantly Shazam whatever is going on. So that is something that is much appreciated. On top of that, if you saw my video a little bit ago, you would know that you can actually get Shazam to show up in the control center as well because Apple actually bought out Shazam and it's now part of iOS. Something else that's pretty cool is the fact that you can actually get more use out of back tap if you strategically use Apple's. So for example, 
someone might set spotlight search as their back tap feature, which I think is kind of dumb. So instead of activating spotlight search and having that checked off, you would want to have scroll up checked off. And what you do is whenever you double tap, not only does it activate spotlight search, but when you're inside an app, you can see that when you double tap, it will scroll up. So that is what I mean by taking advantage of strategically choosing which back tap options you want because some can give you multiple features, whereas others won't. So that's why back tap is super duper cool. You can also activate the app switcher, which is cool. And so like these are the basic ones that most people would have, but I will link all these shortcuts down below so that you can go ahead and download these shortcuts. Now for all the new iOS users out there, when you download any of these shortcuts, you might have an issue on your iPhone where it won't let you actually run the shortcut. So if you do encounter any issues, if you go into the shortcuts settings page inside of settings, it will tell you why your shortcuts are not opening. And you'll also want to have allow untrusted shortcuts checked off. So make sure that is set up before downloading actual shortcuts. So that's overall super duper cool. Um, and you can also make your own custom series shortcuts and then have them run in the back tap section on your settings app on your iPhone. So that is about it for today. That is pretty much everything you need to know about back tap. Thank you so much for watching and as always, peace.